Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Carson. We're with LightModelRestoration.com. Now, Carson, we've got your chrome yellow Cobra and a bunch of parts that are about to go on it. Before we start talking about the parts, tell me a little bit about your car. Well, Jeff, I just picked this car up. It's bone stock. It's never been modified. And it's been fun for the last few weeks, but it's bone stock. So it handles like a school bus, has ground clearance like a Jeep, and that exhaust, it sounds like the washing machine at the house. We need to address that today. All right, man, I can't have you driving around sounding like a washing machine, so tell me about the exhaust components you've got. Well, Jeff, we decided to do a uh, Flowmaster American Thunder Series cat back to give it a little extra classic thunder sound. And to free up a few extra ponies, we've gone with the BBK Off-Road H-Pipe. Now, to keep that check engine light off, we've gone with a set of our SVE mill eliminators. All right, man, that should sound great. Now, I see you've also picked up the suspension components to get rid of that ride height. Tell them a little bit more about what you went with. Well, to get that stance where I want, it, I went with a set of the iBox Sportline lowering springs. Uh, to keep them quiet, we've gone with the BBK Grip Package spring isolators front and back. Uh, to get that alignment in check, we've gone with a set of JM caster camber plates. And to give that dampening what it needs to be with those springs, we've gone with a set of the Tokiko HP shocks and struts. And that should be riding around really nice. Now, you've also picked out some wheels and tires. Tell me what you went with. Yeah, I couldn't leave that alone either. I went with a set of chrome 18 inch lean wheels, 18 by 9 up front and 10 out back, and uh, wrapped them with a set of N Nitto NT555s all the way around. All right, man, this is going to take a little bit of time, so let's get this project going. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're more than halfway through the install. The front suspension is finished. Jonathan and Carson are working on the cat back and the H pipe. Stay tuned for more coverage once we finish. All right, Carson, you finished the car yesterday. You took it home for a test drive. Tell me how the suspension worked out for you. Well, Jeff, I couldn't be happier. The stance is exactly where I want it to be. It handles like it's on rails, and the BBK Prothane Isolators kept those springs whisper quiet. I, I'm extremely pleased with it. All right, now you also went with the J&M Caster Camber Plates. Tell me about that install. Well, the instructions are real thorough. It's very intuitive. It's not bad at all. Uh, the only thing that you have to be careful with on this platform, you do have to drill an extra hole on each strut tower. As long as you're careful with that, it's a piece of cake. All right, sounds like a cake walk. Now, the suspension looks great. You also wanted to get rid of that washing machine sound. Tell me about that exhaust system you went with. Well, Flowmaster hit the nail on the head. It gives that rumble I was hoping for. Uh, BBK, uh, uncork this car. It's a completely different animal now with that off-road H-pipe. I'm real happy with it. All right, the car does sound great. Um, Man, you're always restoring Mustangs, you know, you're fixing up new ones. Can't wait to see what the next project is that you have planned. Uh, it's in my blood. I enjoy working on these cars and uh, can't wait to get the next project. All right, guys, for more project videos, make sure you check out LateModelRestoration.com.